To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. One of the earliest public monuments in the nation honoring a woman was erected in New Orleans in 1884. The statue depicts Margaret Harry, an Irish immigrant known for her generosity to the city's orphans and poor. Four years after arriving in Baltimore with her family, a yellow fever epidemic orphaned nine-year-old Margaret. Tragedy struck again after she came to New Orleans in 1835. Within a year, she lost both her Irish-born husband and newborn daughter. Margaret found work in the laundry of the St. Charles Hotel and began donating her time and wages to the Sisters of Charity, who ran the New Orleans Female Orphan Asylum. With her meager savings, Margaret bought a couple of cows to provide milk for the children. Two years later, she had a thriving dairy, and as she made deliveries around the city, she collected food for orphans from hotels and restaurants along her route. This enterprising businesswoman never learned to read or write, yet transformed a bankrupt bakery into the first steam-operated bakery in the South, shipping bread and other goods to other cities using a packaging method that she invented. When Margaret died in 1882, her sizable estate went to the St. Vincent Infant Asylum and other Catholic orphan asylums with bequests to Protestant and Jewish orphanages. Two years after her death, local orphans unveiled the statue of Margaret, the mother of orphans, which still graces the intersection of Camp and Britannia Streets. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.